Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bourne here, Overtime Athletes. And for today's video, what I wanna talk about is developing top speed. And more inclusively, I wanna talk about developing that efficient leg cycle, right? Acceleration is that piston-like action, whereas top speed is that cyclical-like action. So how do I train it? How do I progress it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and break down a series of three different drills that we utilize inside our training of how I progress this, okay? So the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by teaching an athlete a single leg high knee. Now, the single leg high knee is going to work the first portion of the actual movement. Again, and when it's developing speed, it's all about training obviously power, strength, things like that. But from a technical standpoint, I wanna isolate and elevate, right? We wanna enhance certain sequences or motor pathways so that when you train those over and over again, the athlete becomes more efficient when they actually go to live bullets or you know top speed training, okay, or top speed running. So the first one, again, we're gonna go is single leg high knee. So I wanna get really efficient at the single leg high knee because that's gonna work the recovery phase. What that's gonna do is it's gonna teach the athlete not to have that long swooping motion, but they're gonna have a really fast action here in the backside as they recover that leg. So after they pull, going to hip hyperextension, they're gonna be able to recover extremely fast. So the drill I like to train is a single leg high knee where the athlete is essentially gonna focus on triple flexion of the hip, knee, and ankle, okay? From there, the next progression is a single leg step over run. Now this is the cycle like action, but I don't teach them to actually pedal the bicycle yet. I want them to focus on stepping over the opposite knee with single leg. So all they're going to do is perform the single leg high knee, but they're going to at the, high, at the knee's highest height, release the hamstring and then be able to step over. So just by telling them to step over the knee, they're gonna naturally do this, right? So it's just gonna step over. And as you'll see, I'm releasing the hamstring. Now this is extremely important because why? A lot of athletes contract that hamstring when they're going into that drive phase and don't release it. And that's usually when the hamstring pops, okay? And then finally is going to be our single leg cycles. Now why these are important is because We've got a good recovery phase, right? Single leg, high knee. We've stepped over, we released the hamstring. Now we want to turn on the glute to pull and propel ourselves forward. Okay, so that's the sequence I use. So single leg, high knee, step over, and then single leg cycles, where now you're actually pulling and clawing at the turf. So use those three progressions, right? Take as much volume you need on each step to develop that efficient motor pattern. And I promise you, as you start to work that sequence over and over again, you're going to see your top speed start to get a little bit more efficient, clean up a little bit, which will add to being a little bit faster, right? So I hope that helps. Give you guys free game. Watch you guys next time.